Yo, good. What's guy? What's good, guys? It's uh, your boy Warren, uh, aka Thirteen. Um, so, in this video today, I just wanna. Um, I've recently started some new campaigns. I'm started running some new campaigns, and I wanna do a case study. Case study is me starting a brand new campaign, showing you day one, day two, day three, day four, and letting you know how it works and what, what I'm doing and the changes I make and what I'm trying to achieve and X Y Z. So, I've just started up a new campaign for uh, my music production um doing podcast theme tunes so i got a i got a friend called corinne she's the owner of pink hippo pr and one of the coolest and uh, most trendiest pr companies in the uk at the minute and she's head of that um, and she's working with um, a brand that is doing a podcast and she needed some theme tune music some intro music so she reached out to me and um, she hit me up and I've, I've done it for her. I wrote the record. I sent over to her and she loved it. And they're going to feature it in the new podcast show. And it got me thinking. It got me scratching my head like, right, I've done a few of these in the past. It seems to be a trend that's growing. You know, podcasts are getting bigger and bigger. There's Spotify now invested into podcasts as well. Um, there's loads of podcast platforms and podcasts is going to be the future. Like it's the next big thing if it isn't already the big thing. Um, so... Why not get a piece of the pie and start actually offering a service on my website for podcast theme tunes? Um, so what I've done is I've I've gone over to Facebook. Uh, many of you that follow me already, you know how much I'm a big fan of Facebook and I'm running Facebook ads. So I created a Facebook ad. Um, I've targeted video blogs. I've targeted serial podcasts. I've targeted streaming medias. Um I've targeted, um, um, yeah, and the, and the fourth one is I've targeted podcast now. Um, Facebook are reviewing the ad. Once it gets confirmed, which I'm 90% sure it will, it they will start going ahead and showing the ad to loads of different people that, are, that have an interest in uh, podcasts. So I've targeted actually only Facebook and Instagram. Um, I haven't done like uh, browsing features or, you know, the, 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 the browse mode on Instagram. It's literally the Facebook feed, the Instagram feed and the Instagram stories. Um, I've also targeted all genders, men and women. Um, and I've also targeted United States, uh, California, Atlanta, Chicago and London. Um, why? Usually I do the whole of US and the whole of the UK, but... Um, in my last couple ads that I've been running, I've been finding the ma targeting the major cities are much better. Um, I've also found that the age range um, for me and my brand is definitely 24 to 34. Um, that is my target range in terms of the other music production stuff that I do. But in terms of theme tunes, I've, I've widened it to 55 only because there could be older people that's interested in in a theme tune and there could be older people that have podcasts to begin with so they're going to need some kind of assistance um and yeah as i said genders is both male and women uh, male and female because i don't know which one is uh is going to bring me it's going to be more profitable if i find that 80 percent of my customers are going to be women i'm going to take it off and i'm going to start targeting only women and vice versa for men so i need to do some testing before i target down and that's what it's basically about you always want to to, um, do go broad and then narrow down based on the data so target men and women and if you find if you find that the majority of your customers are women then get rid of the men and only target the women okay the more focused and targeted you can be when it comes to online marketing and running ads the more bang for buck you'll get the more you'll make back basically the more profit you make because you won't be spending you won't be wasting your money on people that aren't interested in 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 your product so the whole point is it to drill down and get really narrow so really from this ad set i want to be able to know right 35 year olds women um from london specifically from north london are my biggest and hottest market at the minute that that's how targeted i want to be do you know what I'm saying? So that's where I need to kind of get it. And the only way for me to learn who's going to be my hot market and my, my hot um, the hot audience is by going broad and then coming in after. So I'm going to just show you also um, actually what my ad looks like. So I shot the ad yesterday. 
um, and this is the ad for are you looking for custom intro music for your podcast then look no further my name's warren Sterling young and i've got over 20 plus years in the music industry writing songs for some of the biggest artists and media brands including mtv universal music hyundai and apple music now i specialize in hip-hop r&b soul dance so that is basically how let me skip let me forward it this is how it's going to look on the Apple music. Feed. Now I specialize in hip hop, R&B, soul, dance, pop and everything in between. So if you want to captivate your audience, build a massive subscriber base and really engage your viewers, then look no further. You need custom intro music to set yourself apart from the rest. So go ahead, click that order button now or drop me a message if you've got any questions and I look forward to working with you. So there you go. That's the ad that's going to pop up on the on on the Facebook or Instagram uh, page when people are scrolling. Um, so this is day one. I've just set up. Once it gets accepted, I'm going to do day two. So this is day one. I'm going to walk you through day two, day three, day four, um, and break down the process of what I take out, what I keep in, which ad sets are doing the best, um, how I change my ad spend, and the customers that are coming, X, Y, Z. And what I want to leave with before I go, I just want to show you um, the type of campaign that it is. So I'm actually targeting people to message me so sometimes um i want to i want to send them once they've clicked the ad sometimes i want to send them directly to my website to have a look at the page and encourage them to buy but this one um i'm kind of aware that people are going to have questions so for me to send them directly to a web page and ask them to add to cart and buy there there's going to be some some friction because they're going to have questions like right can you can this can 13 actually do the music that i want you know, can they do it in the right time frame that I have? Um, and because I'm flexible in how I work, I need to be able to answer them questions in order and answer those objections in order for them to feel um, safe and confident with purchasing. So what I want them to do is I'm, I'm going to leave a send me a message button at the bottom of the page, which, which looks something like this. If you can see it, um, it's going to say send me a message. So they'll click that. And then it will take them into Instagram uh, DMs or Facebook Messenger. And then they'll be able to message me and say, hi, I've seen your service. I'm interested in the theme music. Can you produce something dance, um, a dance uh, dance intro like this from YouTube? And then they'll send me a link. Or maybe they might say, can you produce me something in the next 24 hours? And then I'll say X, Y, Z. Yeah, I can. No, I can't. I'm busy. So they're going to have questions for something like this. When it's a T-shirt or you're selling something like a phone case, or you're selling something like, I don't know, a notepad or headphones. You can list all of the features and benefits of what that headphone is or that phone case in the description. So they can read it and if it ticks their box, they'll order it. But with something like a podcast and a theme tune, they're going to they're gonna want, they're gonna have questions. They're going to want to know certain specifics that I, don't, I can't just put on the display page and the description page. So it's better that they message me. It's better that they hit me up and they and then I get their questions answered and then that way they'll feel more confident about buying. So um, that's it for the video. I'm going to see you in day two.